Are watch winders necessary for Rolex watches? Some people like a watch winder as a pedestal style for their watch. Some people think they need one to keep their watch running smoothly and in good condition when they are not wearing it for a while. Others want their watch ready to go and showing the right time as soon as they take it out of the box. Watch winders. Love them, hate them. But does your Rolex watch actually need a watch winder? In today's video, we delve into this heated discussion. So keep watching to find out and discover why if you do decide to use a watch winder. Using the wrong settings for your specific Rolex model can actually damage your watch. But before we dive into all of this, be sure to subscribe to our channel Watch Divine for anything Rolex. What the heck is a watch winder? First off, what is a watch winder anyway? When an automatic winding watch is not being worn, it can be stored in a countertop box that rotates very slowly to keep the mainspring moon in the watch going. This way, it keeps showing the right time and date. It's a pricey flashy, and as you will soon find out, an almost completely unnecessary gadget that pretends to be a necessary part of collecting watches. The watch winder, at best, provides a little convenience. In the worst case, it can be damaging to your watch. The function of a watch winder. When your automatic watch isn't on your wrist, some recommend winding it to keep it in good working order. The thinking goes like this. If you don't use your mechanical watch for a while, the lubricants inside it will dry out or congeal, increasing the friction between the various moving parts. Because of the potential for this to harm the watch's mechanism, it's important to keep the watch in motion at all times. A good watch winder will have a TPD setting and be made to rotate only sometimes, not all the time. Depending on the type, you'll be able to choose between unidirectional and B directional winding options. Popular watch winder manufacturers like Wolf include a TPD and winding direction guide with their products. Has it been proven to be destructive? With the right settings, a high-quality watch winder should be safe for even the most intricate timepieces. It is recommended to wind a watch on a regular basis, even if it is not being worn often, to prevent the oils from setting. It's mostly timepieces that have been sitting on a watch winder for an extended period of time without being worn have been a source of trouble for on-call watchmakers. You shouldn't leave a watch winder running forever. One counter-argument against the use of automatic watch winders is that watchmakers have made great strides in incorporating new technology into the actual movements of their products. Thus, current lubricants are less likely to migrate or dry out as quickly on newer models. Can using a watch winder help you? In the world of watches and among collectors, the value of a watch winder is always a hotly contested question. Watches with intricate calendar displays benefit from being wound regularly. You don't need a winder if you only have one watch or if you only have time-only or time-and-date models. Allowing a watch to run down to a complete halt has its advantages as well. For the same reasons, it's actually not so good for the watch's movement to always be running at full speed. Most systems for winding the movement was made to work for 8 to 10 hours during the day and stop at night. But some modern watches can keep running for days without needing to be wound. Now what about a watch winder? Does a Rolex need one? Typically not. Most Rolex watches just tell the time and date, and many newer models even allow you to set the date in just a few seconds. Using a winder is optional, especially if you have a more sophisticated watch like a day date or Skydweller. Some manufacturers, including A. Lange and Sohn, advocate using a watch winder because it helps keep the mechanism oiled and prevents the user from having to manually adjust the watch's date and time. But actually, most modern watches have a newer type of lubricant, which doesn't coagulate so easily. The weekly routine of winding up one's collection while relaxing with a good movie or show is a popular practice among collectors. This allows the watches to run down their power reserves and rest while still being able to be set and moon in a timely manner so that they can be used for date functions. For watches with bigger power reserves, the number of times they need to be wound can be cut even more. Before wearing or even before placing the watch on a winder, it is recommended to give the watch at least 20 winds to get the mechanism going. Understanding Rolex watches and their internal workings the heart of a timepiece is its mechanism, but you already knew that. Watches are more than simply attractive to look at, but they would be completely worthless 
if not for this tiny mechanism ticking away inside the casing. The movement of a watch is the mechanism that tracks the passage of time and on certain models shows the current date. Movements can be either all mechanical or all electronic, or they can be a mix of the two. Most modern watches don't need to be wound by hand because the rotor, which is a metal weight connected to a winding mechanism, turns with the wrist and body movement. Variations in Rolex watch mechanisms All Rolex watches are either automatic or wound by hand. Also available are a few quartz-powered watches for women. It's hard to overstate how popular the self-winding design is. It's just a standard mechanical wristwatch where the mainspring is wound by the wearer's arm movements. Every current Rolex watch is a self-winding model. This includes the Explorer GMT Master II, Submariner, Sea Dweller, Cosmograph Daytona, Yacht Master, Air King, Datejust, and Date Date. The Cellini collection features hand-wound timepieces for both men and women. Hand winding is a good choice for the Cellini series because it fits with the watch's traditional look and the fact that it is the most basic Rolex model in terms of design and function. Rolex did discontinue the Cellini collection in 2022, except for the beautiful Moonface model. Will the Cellini collection make a comeback at a later time? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. In short, watch winders are not strictly necessary for Rolex watches. Watch winders are not strictly necessary for Rolex watches or any other brand of automatic watch. As was already said, Rolex watches are made to last a long time and can be left without being wound for a long time. Modern lubricants used in high-quality watches, like Rolex, can also help to keep the movement running smoothly, even when the watch is not being worn. However, some people do prefer to use watch winders to keep their automatic watches running when they are not being worn. This can be particularly useful for collectors who have a large number of automatic watches and don't want to have to manually wind each one before wearing it. If you decide to use a watch winder for your Rolex, it's important to make sure that it is set to the proper settings for your specific model. Overwinding or using the wrong winding settings can potentially damage the watch. It's also a good idea to do some research and choose a high-quality watch winder that is designed to handle the weight and size of your Rolex. So, figured out a watch winders are not necessary for Rolex watches, but they can be a useful tool for some people, particularly collectors with multiple automatic watches. If you do decide to use a watch winder, make sure to set it to the proper settings and choose a high-quality model. That's all for today's video. Liked it? Then give us a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel to be the first to receive our Rolex news, updates, and fun facts. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.